Well, the Michigan Senate is considering a proposal to make it illegal for towns across our state to pick and choose which dog breeds to allow in their communities. So attorney Tom Sinus joining us here with a closer look at that bill on this week's Know the Law segment. Very tricky situation here. Boy, it is. And this is another example of a thing that's been going on in Lansing that I, I call bans on bans. Gotcha. That's interesting. It's true. Right? Because when you hear about this, you think, wait a minute, who is banning what here? Right. So what's going on? The legislature, we've seen this with plastic bags. Yes. Uh, and there's a proposal in Lansing right now about banning uh, short-term rentals of cabins and whatnot. Okay. So what's yeah. happening? Well, there are, are legislators in Lansing that want to enact laws, state laws, that prohibit local governments from doing certain things. Sure. That's why I call it a ban, ban on a ban. ban yeah. And like, for example, there was a law that says you, local governments cannot ban the use of plastic bags. Okay, what's going on with dogs? Well, we've seen around the state some communities wanting to pass local ordinances to, to outlaw certain breeds sure. within the municipality. Uh, the, the, in some communities, I think they've found that certain breeds are more dangerous than others. And so through, um, through either a public vote or through determination by the city council, they've decided by ordinance to, to ban certain breeds. Now, of course, one question in this whole debate is, well, who should make these decisions? Should yeah. it be a local decision or right. should it be a state decision? But that's for the, that's yeah. for the politicians no. to decide. What does this mean here? Well, if, of course, if the ban on bans passes, then local governments will not be allowed to prohibit certain dogs. So that will have to play out over, over time. What does all this mean for, for dog owners? Obviously, you don't want to own a dog in a city where the dog breed is banned. Sure. But banned or not, remember this. Dog owners under Michigan law have liability, what we call strict liability, if the dog attacks someone else. Right. What do we mean by strict liability? Strict liability means that you are liable simply because you're the dog owner. We don't have to show in Michigan that you knew the dog was going to bite. Uh, some states have what are sometimes called one free bite or two free <laughs> bites where, you know, the dog has to show dangerous behavior before the owner's liable. Okay. Here, if it's your dog and the dog bit someone, it's your responsibility. Sure. Typically, that's covered under your homeowner's yeah. insurance policy, Typically, but you some... want to check yeah, and make sure it is. Yeah, sometimes they'll say they won't. Exactly. That's right. The other thing you'll want to check is if you do live in one of these communities that has banned certain dogs yep. and the ban on bans has not gone into right. effect, then will your homeowner's insurance coverage still cover you if you have a banned breed? Right. Okay, that's all going to be in the fine text of your policy. So dog owners, remember, pets are wonderful. Yep. Uh, everybody should have the experience of having a dog if they want one. But like everything else we talk about in the segment, make sure you protect yourself. Yep. And as this issue works its way through Lansing, make sure that you're protecting your family. Do your research, and if you need more questions, they can find you where? Sure. West Michigan, give us a buzz at 616. 301-3333. You can find us online at www.sinusdramus.com or shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Derek.